Hey guys, it's 21 times from Pokedexcentral.com. Um, just want to let you know, um, we've got a video here for you today. Um, and then um, just want to let you know, uh, Juan has published an article here we put up yesterday. I got another one going up by him tomorrow. Um, uh, just want to let you know, we got a lot of different stuff going up here uh, on Pokedexcentral.com. Uh, just check it out. Um, I'm actually going to put up my uh, my statistical analysis on Monday for the first month of the meta. So from the end of August to, to the last day of September, I'm going to put up my analysis. It's going to have tons of statistics. It's going to really tell a good story about you know what is going on in the game today. Um, and many of the much of this stuff confirms what we already know. Shrine of Punishment is you know meta defining deck, meta defining card, but that aside, there's going to be a lot of different stuff too. Um, but um, just wanted to let you know that, that there's lots of good stuff going on here. Make sure you check it out. So, um, we are going to show you tonight. Um, I have, <laughs> so, I, I'm still trying to get this to work. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know if I'm just stubborn or if I just don't understand or if this is just something wired about me wrong, but I really think this is a bongos attack. <laughs> just to be able to put down as many energy as you want on your next turn. Um, so I've been monkeying with this. You know, I've won like three, lost like four with it. This is an extremely clunky, extremely heavy, extremely difficult deck. Um, so I just, I don't know how good this video is going to go. <laughs> so maybe I'll win a couple, maybe I'll lose a couple, I don't know. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Here's the list, and let's go have a goal, go at it. Um, I'm not gonna I'll keep track of my stats later. I would keep track of my cards, but because I've found that counting everything, counting everything really matters in this deck. <laughs> you, you just you have no margin for error. Um, if you're gonna notice, I have four Q to fly. Now there's a reason for that. I have a theory, some theory mon. So my theory mod is this. I know that I want to start... Ooh, Cyrus. Ugly. I know that I want to start Dratini. There are only four Dratini in the deck. Therefore, I'm starting four free retreat cards. And, um... Alright, I'm probably going to draw into an energy, so I probably don't need to attach an energy here. I don't need to do anything. I'm just going to throw everything right back in the deck. So, by drawing into, drawing into a free retreater, if I get... The idea is you're supposed to get a nest ball or the basic that you want. Well, I know he's not attacking me this turn. Oh, and I forgot to attach. Okay, he's not doing much either. So, um, in a case like this, you definitely want to pull all of the energy out of your deck. Because the more energy cards you pull out of your deck, the less chance you have of top decking an energy. I could retreat and actually start banging away at him. You know what? Why not? Why not? Why not do 50 damage when I know he's not going to do anything against me next turn? Oh, man. Do 
80 against me, yes. Who did he put down there? Palkia. All right, I got a Cynthia. Um, I'm not going to attach any energy. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to play my Cynthia. Yes, I know it puts fewer cards in my hand. Okay, so there's Dratini. There we go there. I have no interest in putting down that counter energy at this point. So I'm just going to hit him again. All right. But like I was saying, if I have four free refreeders, then theoretically I'm going to draw it into my Dratini. I didn't do it the first turn. I did do it the second turn. Now hopefully I'll just get... Hopefully I will just get um, a Dragonair. Oh wow, look at that. I even top decked a Mudbray. That was very lucky. Come on, Dragonair. Come on, Dragonair. I did not get a Dragonair. That is less than desirable. All right, so I will be able to attack with Mudbray on the next turn if I so choose. And I think I'll do that. Interesting, Palkia. Oh, so if he gets another energy, he can actually use... Um... Oh, no, wait, this is Palkia, not... Um... What's its name? He's got the Mana Feet to heal, yeah, that's good. Okay, so he's not going to... That's good. I'm going to drop that down here. And at least I know I'll get to attack with Mudbray. Or Mudstail. And I do need to use high horsepower because I'm only doing 60. Okay. Neither of those cards are really going to help me out. Rotom decks. I remember uh, Mike Marquise EXB used Rotom decks a lot when he was when he had a uh, Oranguru. It's definitely a, it's very much like um, Premonition with Glade that he used to have. Right, that's the one that uh, yeah you look at the top four cards in your deck, put them back in any order. Oh, cool. Um, I am tied, so I cannot attack right now. So I am just hanging out. He likes the healing. And there's Dialka. That's a little surprising. Right. 
here we go. Here goes nothing. Yes. Wow. Double heads. That's awesome. Uh, definitely going for Ramabi. Great. Dragon here. And after he KOs me. Oops, 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 oops. Be careful. Q to fly has free retreat. Ramabi does not. that Mudsdale will get to attack again. How much energy do I have left? Six, good. I'll be able to attach at least four energy cards next turn. And easily Oko Palkia. So this actually has been a competitive game. This, he certainly does not have a competitive deck. Uh, does he have enough to do his zero vanish? He does not. So that's great. Definitely pulling the two energy out before. Attaching. I don't have any switching cards. Um, I'm going to put this one here. Um, Copycat. Okay, not great. Nothing I can really use. Just retreats. Me too. Yep. Muzdale and high horsepower. I'm not in awful shape here. Didn't really count up my cards, did I? Great. All right. So definitely not not uh, I did not play a meta deck there, but it gave you a good idea of what Mudsdale's capable. Right, the advantage is to me. So you can see Mudsdale is very capable of doing 200 damage or even more. Oh, this is a good start. I'm just going to... Uh, do I bench the second one? Normally don't do that, but it just helps thin out the deck by one more card. Alright, not sure exactly what we're going up against. Some sort of fire deck, obviously. I would like to draw an extra card. That's nice. Okay, so Oranguru, the most popular card on PTCGO. You are more likely to see Oranguru than any other card. Order pad. Best ball. 
HOOGX. What do we have here? This is a Potown. Yep, that's going to hurt me. That turns his uh, sniping attack from 50 into 80. So definitely an advantage to him considering him running all stage one Pokemon. Coco to help spread the damage. Attach this. Play my Cynthia. Good. Oh, really good. Man, I can hit with another. I can even drop another. Or I could drop Buzz. I think I'm going to drop Buzz. All right, so I've gotten off to another good start. So I don't know if it's, you know, having those extra free retreaters maybe helps just, you know, to have four extra free retreaters maybe helps just a little bit. Um, also, the reason that I put one, one item down one tool down. Um, if he does get, um, if he does get a field blower in hand, then he's only using it on one. He's not using it on multiple. So I would guess he's going to go for a Guzma here. A Guzma up, probably Buzzwall, or maybe DNC. Nope, he's going for Kiawe. She's going, excuse me, I apologize, I apologize, my opponent has a female avatar, so I'm going to address my opponent as she. And very smartly only puts three energy, you don't have to put four on Kiawe, you can only take three if you only want to take three. I'm going to put my one on Buzz, I am going to... See if I get lucky. Nope. So I'm going to grab. So he just played Tapu Lele. Chances are he's not going to play Tapu Lele again. So I'm going to go grab all my energy. Chances are he won't judge me or Marshadow me. And I will be able to put down all of these energy cards. So, you can see here, I've got 35 cards left in my deck. Two of them are energy cards. I'm not going to top deck an energy card. Not sure what I'm going to top deck, but it's not going to be an energy card. But it would be very disappointing if he gives us up my mud bray at this point. It will also be disappointing if I don't get a mud stick. Alright, now he's going to start chipping away at me. Oh, he's just going to Phoenix Burn. All right. 
right. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I am going to take out. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I mean, you can see there. Don't don't just concede too early. Um, he, he pushed the concede button too early. Because yes, my mud deal's coming up. But I mean, unless you had, he had nothing in hand, but I had nothing in hand too. Although I was going to get two drop two cards, so presumably I was going to get something I could use. But you know, don't. Don't just give up just like that. There was still some more game there to be played. But, all right, so I am now on a three-game win streak here with Mudsdale. So, you know, but again, that that's not a that's not a meta deck either. Ho OGX is not meta. It's a good deck to play for PTCGO since we see so many metal and grass. Alright, so now I'm going up against um, an opponent with the advantage. So I would guess I'll probably get annihilated in this game. And despite all of my basic Pokemon, <laughs> how many basics again? Four, eight, nine, ten, 14! 14 basic Pokemon, and I pull a mulligan. Alright, so I'm going to start Q to fly. So I will say, um, I did beat a Buzzwall Garbodor deck with this, with Mudstail. Um, that was actually the first game that I played. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Palkia again. But, um, I haven't had a whole lot of luck with this since... I mean, I've had some, but okay, this is definitely not a meta deck. Alright, so we're definitely going to throw down. It's actually kind of my cards here to purify. Oh wow, I got all my basics. I have a Mudstail in hand, right? Nope. With my Dragon Airs in hand. So I'm definitely missing an S ball, missing a timer. Missing a copycat, missing a Cynthia, I've got a lady in hand, missing the choice band, um, only missing one energy though, so. Um, definitely pulling four energy cards out of my deck. Now, here's the question. What are the chances that he's going to attack me next turn? I'm going to take my chances. And really, I'd rather see Q to fly get knocked out right now than Dragonair. Because I'm going to execute Dragon's Wish next turn be able to attack. And I don't think he's going to get... I don't think he's going to be able to attack me this turn. So I'm in good shape. Beautiful. Okay, so he's got my 
Greenland coming up, so I'm guessing there's a Guzman in my future. Alright, so, retreat. We'll get down to one energy. Oh, do I want the free retreater? Yeah, let's go with the free retreater just in case. Pull a couple energy out. And Dragon's Wish. So even if he Guzmas, he won't be able to He won't be able to KO me. But I will be able to KO him. And I'm doing it enough to straight up Oko Mulpex. about that zero vanish though. It's funny that I don't see Palky at all. And then on a night when I'm running a deck that's very um, very susceptible to zero vanish, Palky shows up twice in three matches. Hopefully he won't get a chance to use it. Alright, so that's good. Alright, so there are three little matches with Muddale. Um, again, all three of those were non-meta decks. I'm sure if you go up against Squids, if you go up against um, Zoroark, you know, <laughs> there are any number of decks that will have their way with Muddale. But, you know, this is what I'm kind of looking for right now is, you know, some of these decks that, you know, I mean, this thing hits for, you know, you put the choice band on that, you're doing 230 with the Ancy on the bench. So, I mean, it's going to hit for a lot. And, you know, counter energy makes it possible. Dragon's Wish is, it can be pretty broken. I put a lot of, I put a lot of damage on it, put a lot of energy on the board. Um, at various times in various decks with with a dragon's wish so you know like I said, you know, it's, this is not not an expensive deck at all i mean this really is a budget list so you know, if you want to give it a shot you know uh, give it a try and see how it works for you all right thanks for watching appreciate it um, have a great day